Over the past couple of years, many restaurants' style of food has been switching towards local chef-driven cuisine. For a chef, an important part of creating a dish involves simple ingredients, ingredients that are sourced from local producers, ranchers, and farmers. Why not take advantage of Alberta's strong and flavorful growing community? It's now where we take you to a few Calgary restaurants that are helping to spearhead and promote the Farm to Fork initiative. Hi, my name is Connie D'Souza. I'm co-chef and co-owner of Charcot Roast House in downtown Calgary. Hi, I'm Andrew Winfield from River Cafe, uh, downtown Princess Allen Park. I'm Sal Howell, proprietor of River Cafe in Boxwood. At Boxwood, we're dedicated to local producers and growers. We choose local producers for a variety of reasons. There are great reasons to buy local. Um, I think first and foremost is um, the availability from the farm to fork or to your plate. Um, we can we can access ingredients um, in, in a short period of time. It doesn't have the travel time. Uh, that travel time also translates into less of an environmental impact uh, that uh, agriculture and, and transporting food can have. We, uh, I think local food preserves the farms and therefore preserves valuable green space around the city. We opened in 2010. We, before we opened, we visited uh, literally 40, 40 farms in 40 days and we got to know um, all the, the local farmers and producers in the area. Um, we met some really great people that now we have a really close relationship with now. Um, some of the farms that we work with are uh, Sprague's Farm, we work with uh, Spring Creek Ranch, um, uh, the Innisfil uh, growers, uh, Jungle Farm uh, specifically, actually grows exclusively for Charcot now. So we're, um, it's so great to be back in Canada and back in Calgary and in a place where we, we can feel at home and, and really continue this philosophy of farm to table. River Cafe has been doing the ideas of the, the local and sustainable for close to 20 years now and it was always brought from the very beginnings so of something that we wanted to have. For me to be having a local connection with all the food around us is really what is at the heart of cooking and it's at the heart of being a chef is knowing where things are coming from. You get to see how it grows in the field, you get to meet a producer, you get to have an understanding with it and it's uh, concepts that really are at the heart of it all so if you don't have an understanding of the, where it comes from and the heart of it, you can't grow within that. So growing within cooking and doing something for a customer is knowing where it's coming from first. Well, we like to have a garden out front that has a lot of things that have kind of like a, a punch factor for flavor. So, you know, from having different lovages and horseradishes and the chive blossoms, things that are around. Uh, sorrel is one of my favorites, so it's always there. Chrysanthemum is around and nasturtium flowers. You know, we planted this year for the first time in a while some squash plants out front, so we have some squash blossoms that are still going right now. We're putting on plates through the evenings. There's a, a huge amount of different producers that are involved in making us what we are. Uh, from really small that we have a friend who grows tomatoes in the north, northwest of Calgary. Um, we have uh, Poplar Bluff Potato, we have Bite Beef who are close friends with us, Highwood Crossing, an enormous variety of them from Dry View Farms for lamb and a lot of them uh, come together and give us these products so they become more of a family than just suppliers to us. If you have a producer that's making something great, well you want to get them into a few of the restaurants too. You don't want to just keep them to yourselves and just take it a little bit, you want to see them grow and they need to grow. So if you have an idea, somebody's looking for them, saying, well I know this person that has this, well why don't you start using them, I'll get you to them. And you can pass that along and you can make sure that they're having that and sharing with other restaurants is a great idea. Developing that actual food community is not just with producers but it's for restaurants as well and chefs in the city that get together and they share the ideas and they pass along uh, names and suppliers I think it's a good kind of growth for the city. Farmers need more support than just one or two restaurants they need a city behind them with lots of restaurants doing it and that's what they really need to kind of move and establish themselves so it's great to see that it is all around the city and you see it everywhere you see it from small restaurants to big restaurants to even some chains are understanding that Getting it from local will have a better flavor, it will increase the customers, and it helps support everything that's around you. Charcut Roast House is fairly new to the Calgary culinary scene, but has sure made its mark as a top contender in the city. Char stands for Custom Built Rotisserie and Charbroil. Cut is for the vintage style slicer and handcrafted charcuterie eating bar. At Charcut Roast House, we support, I would say, about 15 to 20 different farmers and producers. Um, we're sourcing 
at least, I would say, three to four items from each farm, so that's really helpful. We visit the Calgary Farmers Market quite frequently, about three to four days a week, and come back and, and just get inspired to write our menus, and they're always packed, and it, it's sometimes hard to pick up our, our produce because they're so busy there, but it's so great that, that everyone is, is really kind of akin to, to wanting to learn more about where their food comes from. And although the growing season on the prairies is short, you can still find some homegrown gems. We found artichokes growing at Jungle Farm in, in the, the spring summer season and uh, asparagus grows up in Innisfil as well and we're, it's so awesome that we were able to access all these really interesting vegetables and that in Alberta we don't have to just eat potatoes and, and carrots all the time. Um, but on that note, our, our farmers do sell a lot of their root vegetables over the winter, so we're still able to use a lot of uh, local vegetable all the way through the year. And there are a lot of restaurants jumping on board to the slow food movement and the farm to table movement. And it's, it's so great um, for the farmers and, and for the restaurants and for the guests. Um, we're working closely with, with all the local farmers and producers. We're able to educate our guests. Um, simply by listing their names of the, the suppliers on our menu and uh, the research that, that we've done in the past, uh, just having those stories to tell our guests and everyone loves to hear about them. My favorite local ingredient to create uh, dishes with that char cut would probably have to be uh, the pork. Um, Greg and, and Bonnie at Sprague Farm do an amazing job raising local heritage hogs. And we love pork because it's so versatile. I mean, you can, there's so many different things that you can do with just the pork shoulder. We, we make sausages in house. We, uh, we cook the pork in its own fat to make confit. Um, we braise it really low temperature so that we can pull it off to make pulled pork sandwiches. And there's, there's a million different things you can do with, with pork. So we love it. <laughs> Boxwood is located in the newly restored gardens of Central Memorial Park in the Beltline District. They feature a menu of spontaneous dishes with a local focus. Sometimes it's very challenging. I think if there was something that I would like people to be more aware of, that uh, we should accept that high quality local food costs more than, than cheap food that's readily available in our marketplace. And uh, here in this country, we pay fair wages and the people who grow good quality food deserve to be fairly remunerated. Local food can taste better because of the, um, the direct link to the farm itself. We, we can have things on the plate you know, that are just picked, just harvested. And so we've re you know, eliminated the transportation. Also the quality and caliber of producers that we seek out who um, tend their farms and, and, and farm sustainably. Uh, organic agriculture lends much better taste on the plate. Local food also uh, creates community. Uh, we have established many great relationships and those partnerships with producers have turned into great friendships and great collaboration. We've seen a trend in restaurants over the last 10-15 years of um, identifying the provenance of ingredients right on the menu. So people are become aware of the names of farms and become familiar with them and that contributes to a uh, good understanding of the food that exists in our community. I think the restaurant and the grower community has, uh, you know, really grown together and we, we uh, of course, seek out uniqueness and diversity but readily uh, share that information. We want the farmers and growers to prosper. We want more of them. We want to help them be readily available for more people. We want everyone to have the opportunity to make these choices. Eating and supporting local really can make a difference in our community, economy, and overall health.